Hey guys, welcome back. Now I know I say this all the time, but today really is an exciting day. That's because today we'll be looking at the Remote Control Hulk Smash. It comes with 2.4 gigahertz, whatever that means. Suitable for kids ages four and up. Now the price can vary. I got mine on sale for $22.49, but I've seen it for as high as $49.99. Now, this is Hulk power you can control. Smash through any adversary using Hulk's massive arms. You can also flip over against a wall and do high speed willy spins. Hulk Smash is pure power and includes 10 phrases and sound effects. Here is the side of the box, which includes an awesome piece of artwork. Now, the RC vehicle does come with batteries included but you will need two additional AA batteries for the remote controller. Let's just try this smash button and see what it's like. Let's see that one more time. All right, time to get this thing out of here. Don't worry about ripping this wire. It's actually supposed to come off. Be careful when you're pulling this out because I just got a paper cut. All right, we'll just cut this string right here. There's actually two more strings down here you need to cut as well. Man, they really did not want anyone stealing this. So here is basically everything you'll be getting. You got the RC vehicle, Hulk's left arm, which we'll be attaching in a few moments. Here is a closer look at the remote control, left stick to move the RC vehicle, and the red button I think is to make him spin. Alright, let's attach that left arm of his. Much better. You see this wire right here going into the remote control? You're actually supposed to rip it off. Don't worry, you're not going to damage anything. There's also another wire that is attached to the vehicle. Yup, you guessed it. Rip that one off too. This sticker here hides the on off switch. We'll be taking that one off too. Okay, here we go. Now for the remote control. I was actually really scared about doing this at first. Thought it was some sort of mistake when the manual said to remove the cables. Let's put in some fresh new batteries. Although the batteries on the bottom and back of the vehicle are included, I would suggest replacing them because who knows how much of a charge they have left in them. Okay, here's everything all set up. What do you guys think? I have to say, I'm really liking the details on the Hulk figure. Overall, just really well built. Feels sturdy and solid. I mean, it doesn't feel cheap at all. And here's one last shot from the side. Okay, let's test this thing out. Don't forget to turn it on first. And here we go.
Whoa, you know, let's take this outside. All right, so I got my good friend Spider-Man here, and he's gonna show us how Hulk Smash works. Okay, so we got Hulk right here, and he's gonna run over Baxter Stockman, Apocalypse, Bebop, and uh, we got Batman over there. All right, you ready? Oh, you got Okay, so what do I think about the remote control Hulk smash? I have to say, I love it. Absolutely fun toy to play with. Only downside is you need a lot of empty space for enjoying it. Either that or take it outside. Build quality is great, easy to pick up and use. Although I am skeptical about the price. If you can find it for around $20, then it's definitely worth picking up. But I'm not sure if this toy is still in production, so the prices I've seen for it brand new has been in the $40 to $50 price range, and sometimes maybe even as high as $60. Still, if you're able to fork over the cash, it's definitely worth it. Remote Control Hulk Smash comes recommended. Okay guys, I uh, hope you're liking these toy videos. Uh, do me a favor, hit the like button, and leave me a comment. I enjoy reading them. See you in the next toy video.